Hello everyone. Recently, last two weeks, I've tried doing some Christmas and Christmas sales. I never done that before. You know, two years almost trading regularly on eBay, I never actually put anything up for sales. So I decided I'm going to do a, a quick sale. Um, and I used Markdown Manager. And I was quite surprised at the result I got for the last two weeks of 2017. So we are almost coming up to Christmas time. And I'm pretty surprised by the results um, I'm, I'm getting. So I've, as I said before, I've never done it. So it was exciting. I, I have sold extra items, which I probably normally wouldn't have done. So yeah, if you want to try that out, please go ahead. You know, if you, if you, if, if you want to check it out and put a sale up, yeah, and I had a doubt. So what I did, I sort of knocked 12% of the original price of my items and some of them items. And I've done very well, actually. So I'm going to show you in this video how to do a markdown manager. So we have... I think the eBay is just sort of, they're on Markdown Manager's on his way out. So they're replacing with something different, like promoting listing or they'll come up with something else. So while we have time, we can still make use of it. So what you tend to do normally, you will go to your um, seller hub page. Oh, there we are, we're on the seller hub page, okay. And on your left hand side menu, right, let's go here. There we are. On the left hand side menu, you can see down here you have promotion markdown, or oh, this is the one you'll go for. And at the promotion banner, you have markdown all. You press that, and then the markdown menu comes down. Come to Markdown Manager, and then at the bottom it says Create Cells. So you click Create Cells, and this will bring you to another page. And here on the left hand side it says Choose your discount. Now you can take percentage of your each item, or you can take the amount of funding, amount of price you want to put down. You can put down £5, £2, whatever you want to put down out of the item, you can do that. So what I, I'm going to do, I'm going to, because I've been successful at 12%, I am going to put at 12% of the price of the item. So each each of the item will be reduced by 12% in the cells. So you select that. So I need to do next thing is come down here and it says select items on your right hand side. So I am going to go down. Spring here because my I'm using a, a large screen. So I'm selecting the item now. Press the button, okay, and here, as you can see, select item, select item individually, or if you have created rules, you can use it on the right hand side. So we're going to select items here. All right, this will populate all the items presently as cells. All right. 
services here select item 12% off okay now because I have a sales already running so here the bottom here you want to exclude you want to check the listing it's already been if you press that exclude discounted item means that already the item already on sales they must you got to exclude them from this sales okay what else they're gonna have you will have double the amount of sales going on so here we are I go all these items all of them down there all this I'm gonna put up okay so we come down at the bottom here and it says down there confirm selection so let's make it smaller let's go to the other side here there we go can you see confirm selection on your right hand side so I'll confirm selection here so I selected it radio okay and now oh I made a mistake I haven't selected anything so let's go back right so I sorry about this I I put our sales thing and without selecting items you just put confirm selection how silly is that okay so we're gonna have to start again exclude or discounted you gotta check this put a check on all the items here right okay so at the moment item found 309 now I've already have out of 309 item already hundred and something on sales and 109 item on sales I've got 200 selected here so I'm gonna make sure excludes discount item is has right so what I'm gonna do is confirm selection there we are confirm the selection right I've done that okay now you give me all of them I selected the new pricing on there we go all this item has got new prices on as you can see here look um, just taken off 12% out of all the pricing I listed it so we keep going down as soon as I'm happy I can save and review so down here the bottom down here as you can see save and review so what I'm going to do I'm going to press save and review right now it says in the menu pops up a review your cell event sell event name you can name it save up to 12 percent so you can put down just to come out with the name so it's xmas saving or something or christmas happy christmas or something this is just for your reference happy happy christmas Happy Christmas. Don't tell me I spelled Christmas wrong. Okay. Happy Christmas. Save up to 12%. Lovely. That's my title. Right. Now it says here discount type an item 12% of each item. 20 uh, 200 items selected. Right. It's given me a date here. Now I can use this disk. Uh, well, let's copy this description up there, and I'm gonna put it down there. Even the description. Right, there you go. Happy Christmas. Save up to twelve percent. Fantastic. Now here, sell date, and it's suggesting that this sales will run up to thirty-first December, two thousand and seventeen. 
that's fine with me no problem right so what we do um you can in this box you can select an image or i just leave it as it is you know I, you can get bring import image from your computer um but i just leave it as it is right so next time i do i will launch this event go down right here hold on go down and then i just press the launch button and here we go and my mm, sales event has just started right as you can see i have some more active cells let me use this here so you can see what's going on right i have few other active ones and it's running from it gives you all this cells update here and event and the time and starting time and finishing time right okay so that's how you do your markdown manager so let's go and check out a bit of performance how am i doing with promotion wise okay i've gone to sales okay let's one second Let's go down the promoting listing now there we are now promoting listing is slightly different you know where you you pay an amount as you know before I've done a videos on this is basically you pay a fee to advertise your item on eBay that's it and you set your percentage of the fee you will pay for eBay to advertise your item on on the list and that's how it works so i have three campaigns going at the moment let's make it smaller as you can see three items going three campaigns 307 listing and at the moment we've done 2068 clicks which is good sold 38 items um now i'm a paid ebay that's extra 11 pound and 72 pence and total sale came to 293 pound 83p right now if i were to create another campaign now i can also do that let's have a look at create a campaign do we have anything to create a campaign over up that old phone let me have a look at this get the individual listing i'm afraid i don't because i've already already have listed all of the items for sales and promotions so that's about it so if you want to uh, small seller why not you try doing this to boost your uh, ebay sales so uh, one way of sort of increasing your ebay sales so i hope this video has given you a bit of info thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos hope these are making any sense to you some of these if they make sense please click like and subscribe button please keep watching if you want to know something please drop me an email or something and i hope to answer your questions so once again thank you so much um and I hope to bring you a few other bits and pieces.
And personally, I hope you're liking these videos. And please go check out my other stuff on eBay. Sorry, not eBay. Um, my other channels and my websites. So, thanking you.